Yeah, hello guys, uh, good afternoon. You are all welcome to my channel. You are welcome to Card Feature Solution, uh, please. Yeah, today I'm trying to give you a very important lecture and I'll be connecting it with a uh, lot of materials out here that can help farmers, yeah. So the lectures, I tagged the secret of uh, water management because I, I can say the secret of breeder the secret of ashi the secret of uh, managing your fryers on your ashi because one lot of people there are a lot of problems out there people have a lot of problems on their ashi but most people are not having but i know a lot of people are having problems on their ashi so and i there's a saying and that is what i normally practice it's like you have to do your best you have to get your own best practice at least hundred percent, and you leave the rest to God. Yeah, is because this is a natural. This is a, this is nature, and it's controlled by naturals. So what really happened is that if you want to be successful in any areas of fish farming, you need to do what you need to try your best. So trying your best are in some areas now, which I will be taking you through. In what we have here, we have what we call the water aerator this is the water aerator and most of us knows the good thing about the water aerator water aerator mm -hmm. is one in order to help you solve your disciplined uh, uh, oxygen that means that this give you more oxygen in your water once you are having a higher ammonia this help you to control the ammonia gives oxygen and makes your fish lively and again this give what we call oxygen it gives energy for your fishes it let them have more strength it grows them it does it let them eat better it let them do better so there are a lot of advantages in uh, oxygen in building oxygen to your water so once you have what you call it this this disciplined oxygen you know that automatically you are having a very great problem in your farm and what are the problems most especially when your fryers are very very small that means from day one to day six with these fryers you cannot notice them that they are the oxygen in the water is low you cannot notice that coming up you, they, can, they will not uh, bring their head up because they are very very small and tiny at that size so then they are still struggling to survive and i told you one thing on the video i post maybe after this i was talking about the teaching period for fryer time for them that this is the i this is the time for them to start growing to start building up their gills to start building up most of their body and so your uh, the do that means the dissolve uh, oxygen of your water will always be lower most especially if you have what we call the pond congestion that means the number of the fishes in your water is high number one maybe the level of the feed you are giving them maybe for those of us who don't change water regularly you will always have what you call the sub oxygen is always low and they normally call it when you when you have a lower uh, disability uh, uh, oxygen so once this can occur the only thing you can use to stay through for those of us who don't use uh, that is what we call the aerator and in here we brought to you an aerator that is very easy to use and this aerator you can use it for two two um, two or three ponds depending on how big the ponds are and the most important the most good thing advantage of this one is that they use here usd that means finally you can plug it with your usd cord, uh, usd uh, cable and for those of us who have power bands in our farms you can use it in the connections so and it will give you what you have in order to work for your fish this is an aquarium this is an aquarium with uh, some fish here as a catfish farmer we have fish all around us and this can work with this if i'm putting it inside let me just put this inside inside here and you can see the fish inside that the fish inside is just staying but by the time i plug this by the time i plug my aerator you can see the way the fish is bubbling you can see the way it is bubbling 
and um, again i'm going to use two aerator now i'm going to use double aerator i'm going to use double aerator for those of us who have uh, who have different ponds these aerator are what you need in order to head your fishes from doing good and faster so putting it here i'm going to put it inside here for those of us who have power banks that has two channeling so this is it so you can see the rate of the bubble on this you can see the rate uh, of bubbling on this so the rate that these bubbles the two um, aerator work effectively that means in this water now in this water you cannot see what we have a dissipate uh, a dissipate uh, oxygen that means you not have a lower oxygen and i told you the most effect of this uh, pump is that you can use it for two or three pumps because you can see the way it works you can use your three or three pumps and this can conveniently work based on your you don't, you don't need light to use this you can use your usb cable in order to do this and for those of us who want uh, the the cord that can serve two pond we can help you arrange the pond they can serve two pond this is it that will be a little bit expensive we can help you arrange that one that will serve for two ponds you can see how active this catfish is now because it's restless restless in terms of what in terms of giving more oxygen to the water restless in terms of feeding and by the time i will feed him now you will see the rate this guy will rush the feed i'm going to do the feeding now you will see the rate this guy will rush the feed So, I'll be giving him a feed. Sorry, I'll be giving her a feed, and uh, this is the feed. And the way it will rot the feed will be immense. So, having a stuff of such in your farm will help you in order to oxygenate your pond. We help you to oxygenate your fryers. We help you to oxygenate your fishes. So, for those of us who are using micro filters we are using micro uh, ponds this is what you need for your farms these are what you need for your farm so this works in two you can see the two works in the power bank and for those those of you who have power banks that can carry six you can order from heat from us you can get six of it and this will help all your nuts all your ponds so with this you can control this you don't need what you don't need light you can see you don't need light to control this that means 24 7 this will work anytime you need it this will work most especially when your fryers start growing when they start growing they start getting bigger so once they start getting bigger again it has what you can use to pin it up here so in your pond this is what you use in pin it up you can pin it by the side of your pond so that this will stay you can pin the rope uh, the cord by the the hose by the side of your pond this will stay you can pin it by the side of your pond this will stay and it will stay it will be there 24 7 24 7 so you can order for yours now but on this lecture i'll be talking about three things as as this is still working on its own this aerator is one of the greatest thing you need to assist you to get a very good result for your fryers these are two aerator we still have more because of the uh the input on the power bank that's why i only started two i have we have about six or seven i can do it here and this will start uh, working so as we are going on that let us just talk on an area that is also very very important for farmer and what is the area we are talking about your water conductivity yeah for those of you who don't know what we call the conductivity of your water or those of us who do not value the parameters on your water most farmers are having getting things wrong based on uncontrolling most of the parameters of their water so that's where most farmers are getting it wrong so from this angle i'm going to introduce to you a tester now this tester is the tester for your uh, for your hardiness this control your hardiness 
it control it controls your hardiness it controls your uh, electronics conductivity it control what we call your water uh, the TDS of your water that means the total solid of your water and it control the temperature of your water note it control the atmospheric temperature and it control your water temperature so to me this is still what we call four in one uh, uh, tester for that so i'm going to test it for you but before i do the testing for you let me tell you what we have here in here i put in some very great uh, uh, lecture up here that may benefit some of us as a farmer yeah that may benefit some of us as a farmer and what did i put up here one i try to put up what we call your water conductivity that means the electronics uh, conductivity of your water and what are the electronics conductivity of your water as salinity and temperature of your water increases that means the salinity this uh, the the salt in your water and the temperature of your water the more they increases the more you have higher water conductivity because this is elect this is electrons this is electronics uh, this is electricity sorry by the time any high effect of electricity in your water of course this will shoot up and this is not good for your fishes and how can you control this how effective do you know that you need what we call the water aerator to control this for you you need to test your water before you do this and from this place i said uh, salinity and temperature increases conductivity increases which has a negative effect in the quality of your water this will have a positive effect in the quality of your water and what this has a quality what has an effect on the quality of your water this simply means your fishes is going to come down and start dropping they will be dying so that is the effect of you having what we call a higher water conductivity and again i said something here is that what is the measurement of uh, the electronic conductivity the measurement of your electronic conductivity simply means micro siemens per centimeter that means the micro siemens per centimeter that is the uh, how to calculate for the ranges of your water on your water conductivity so the higher the conductivity that means higher conductivity starts from 1000 micro cement per centimeter to 10,000 micro cement centimeter so if you test it if you test it this indicates the saline condition of your water if you test it in the water we are going to do the testing now 